Welcome to CodeMix. In this video, we're going to help you make the most of your Eclipse IDE with the powerful capabilities that CodeMix brings to the table. Let's get started with the editor since that's where you'll be spending most of your time. Content assist is typically available as you type with documentation and parameter hits as well. For some languages, you'll even get actionable reference and implementation count annotations. CodeMix supports a vast array of languages from JavaScript and TypeScript to Python, PHP, or even Rust. Do you spend a lot of time with HTML or CSS? Observe the browser pane next to our editor. This is Live Preview 2.0. It will highlight areas that you are working on and in some configurations show you changes as you type. Immensely useful when working with tricky CSS or prototyping a new app. This is a good time to talk about our Emmet support, which can be used to quickly expand small snippets of code into big chunks of markup. Live Preview works with fairly complex front-end code and works for Java EE and modern web applications like Angular, Vue, and React as well. CodeMix will validate your code, of course, and if you choose, lint your code and fix some classes of issues automatically. Now your production build tooling may have different constraints or standards as compared to the IDE. Use our build pipeline integration to run your external build and bring errors reported back into the IDE. This ensures that you aren't surprised with new errors when you build your apps for production. Use the quick outline to efficiently navigate to other sections of code and you can peek at definitions without changing your current editing context. Finally, you can use our breadcrumb toolbar to navigate within your file or across the workspace. All right, let's move to some of the other tooling we have to make your life easier. The command palette is very capable and it's often faster than using the mouse. Use the palette to do everything from opening files to executing commands in the terminal. To start serving your application, whether it's Java EE or modern web like Angular, Vue or React, use the servers view. You'll see status updates as the build progresses through to the server starting. The Terminal Plus will give you a bash shell even on Windows with no external installations required. You can also set up a custom version of NPM and Node per project, making it really easy to have reliable and replicable environments when working on the command line. With just a couple of clicks, you can get a debugging session going for modern web applications. This is a highly capable debugger. For instance, even if you're debugging TypeScript, the source map support has you covered. If you are an Angular developer, you'll enjoy our support for the latest CLIs, along with support for Angular workspaces and libraries. Also, we have a number of specialized Angular and TypeScript wizards that will make your life a whole lot easier. Similar wizards for other modern web frameworks are coming. Use our extension browser to install extensions or extension packs to expand the capabilities of CodeMix to support new frameworks and languages or provide additional tooling. Most extensions built for VS Code, all 11,000 of them, will work with CodeMix. If you're interested in learning new technologies, use our e-learning feature to walk you through tutorials within the IDE. The e-learning tech allows you to focus on the fundamentals and domain concepts without you having to waste time trying to get the environment right or copy-pasting code. We hope you've enjoyed this quick code mix walkthrough. If you need help, have a suggestion, or just want to drop by and say hello, please initiate a live chat session from within the IDE. You can also send us a note on Twitter or post on our forums. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.